So how do you see uh, inflammation as a player in the pathophysiology of type 2 diabetes? So it's a very interesting question, um, and there are both uh, basic science studies and clinical epidemiology studies that link inflammation to the pathophysiology of type 2 diabetes. Epidemiologically, uh, we certainly know that inflammation is associated with obesity, it's associated with diabetes, it's associated with cardiovascular disease, uh, but not only are they associated, but they proceed and predict uh, the development of these conditions, uh, which suggests a potential causal role. Uh, greater evidence, though, comes from uh, the clinical studies where you can potentially target inflammation to interact uh, and uh, um, stop the processes uh, of the development of diabetes and potentially cardiovascular disease by targeting inflammation itself. So therefore, in, in that context, in this epidemics of obesity, sedentary lifestyle, affluent diet, do you see that we could eventually develop approach targeting specifically inflammation rather than weight loss and reshaping lifestyle? Uh, there are certainly animal models to suggest that one can target inflammation directly to uh, improve upon insulin sensitivity metabolism. Uh, and I think that one of the most uh, early uh, suggestions of this came from uh, the targeting of TNF-alpha and its pathways. Um, in uh, the human studies, it's a little bit more difficult to actually uh, prove this. Uh, there are drugs uh, that have uh, um, indirect anti-inflammatory effects uh, and target other uh, molecular targets more directly, and there is some suggestion that these may actually be potentially beneficial. Uh, the most important of these are the studies using statins, uh, which also have anti-inflammatory properties and may uh, uh, delay uh, the uh, development of cardiovascular disease, specifically in patients who have elevated markers of systemic inflammation. Our work itself is targeting uh, inflammation directly uh, using um, a subfamily of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Uh, the salicylates, and we have very promising findings that we can actually uh, lower blood sugars and improve uh, adiponectin as a uh, biomarker uh, of improved inflammatory status uh, and potentially uh, have a role in uh, treating uh, patients with type 2 diabetes.